thing where a guy was questioning me about knife technique. And I told him I don't deal with self-defense with a knife for two reasons. One is uh, generally so-called self-defense techniques with knives don't work. Because there's only really two types of people in the street that use knives. The kind that don't know what they're doing and the kind that do know what they're doing. <laughs> Basically the two, right? And both are dangerous. <laughs> they are both very dangerous, but for very different reasons. Now, we'll leave the guy alone for now that knows what he's doing. Just the guy that doesn't know what he's doing. The problem is, is him not knowing what he's doing, he's unpredictable, and that makes him dangerous. Even if he's completely unskilled with this knife, he can still kill you with it. Because he's not the problem, the knife is the problem. So, if you're unskilled, Generally, they try this crazy stuff. It's a little slight. Usually, well, from my experience, Savvy. yeah. Well, from my experience, is the first thing they like to do is show it to you. Yes. And like, I'm gonna cut you. Well, by the time he says gonna, you sh he should already be disarmed. So he, th yeah, because this really happened to me. Exactly. That, so I'm right here. Right? That actually really happened to me. And he showed me the knife and says, I'm gonna cut you. So I grab here. And boom, right into his throat. Sliced across his throat. I'm going to use that line, Richard. Huh? I'm going to use that line. You're going to use that line? By, By the, the time, time he gets... says go now, he should already be disarmed. That's right, yes. As soon as you stick it in your face, the most dangerous part about this is this blade is going to cut you. Whether or not he's intelligent, whether he's got skills, it doesn't matter. This blade doesn't care whether he's professional or skilled or whatever. If he wants to cut you, this is what... So you gotta, you got to get control of this knife. Don't worry about all that crazy, stupid, this kind of stuff. Blocking, moving it away, punching it, grabbing this arm. I've seen it. Dude, this, this is kind of, they're like, first of all, you do this, and then you go here, and then you go here, and then you re-grab the head. But by that time, you're dead, dude. It's not going to happen. It isn't. If he puts that in your face, boom, boom, just like that. Yeah. Shouldn't be any, any more than that. Michelle, right now. <laughs> Do what? I hope you're recording this. I am recording this. The main key is to gain control of whatever hand, arm, that this knife is in. Even if you're unskilled, I don't care. Grab it like this and hug it. Like this and hug it. I don't care. He's not going to cut you. Yeah, he's not going to cut you here. Then take all your weight and go to the ground. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't take skill, does it? Did it work? <laughs> He didn't know I was going to do that. Stop, yeah. <laughs> just, whoa. yeah, but to be totally honest, that's all you need. Don't don't try any of that crazy self defense stuff you see on YouTube because it's going to get you killed. It's going to get you killed. So all you do is, I'm I'm an uneducated person who wants to scare you because this is really all they're doing. They're trying to scare you. Just gain control of the wrist. And then just the gash. No, don't I, don't even call it the gash. I mean you oh. can. I mean, I could grab here and here and boom here and this one this here and lock you up. You got to have a little bit of training before because go ahead and do coat the gas on me. I mean, it's fine. You're dead. Do coat the gas. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. Oh. What? Do coat the gas. Another one. Yeah. So all you got to do, go ahead and okay. It doesn't take skill, okay? Grab the arm, hug it, right here. This is all I need, boom. Now cut me with it. Now get it away from yourself and cut me with it. Do whatever you want, cut me with it. That's all you gotta do. The black hole, yes, that's all you gotta do. Just grab a hold of it, hug it to your body, hug it tight. Don't worry about disarming. Don't worry about any of that crap. Hug it. There. Now just take your weight and go to the ground. Nice. Go to the ground. Now you may have problems with somebody if they can fight on the ground. Yeah. Right? We're not even going to worry about that right now. It's in a good position. Yeah. So if, if you're not smart, you show it to me. I grab it and hug it. Right here. That's all I need. Grab it, hug it. And then I just bring it down. To the ground. 
The other thing is that when somebody has a weapon, they forget they have other weapons. Yes, they don't want to punch you because they forget. They don't want to kick you because they forget. They're just they're focused on this little thing right here. And if you take it, if you hold on to it, they can't think of anything else. Yeah. Nice. So just grab it, hug it into your body. Not, that's, I shouldn't even be able to do that. There you go. Just hug it tight there, boom, and just go straight to the ground. Yeah, don't turn it. You now your bite. Just go straight to the ground. Yes, right there. Yep. Don't don't worry about any of this excessive crazy movement. Okay, you're here. I just I grab it. Go to the ground. Okay, that's it. Back up. 